good morning everyone good day probably more like good evening <laughs> not good morning while you're watching this video i will still try to upload this video as i'm recording right now uh, sorry for being late if so this package arrived from new craft day it is very exciting package because i waited for this canvas to see how this is going to look like um yeah i i don't even know this little tiny box in here how they fit look at this little tiny box how they fit everything in here i'm surprised because it took me a while to pull out from that box all this design they they really do good packing i have to say and this package of course is the humongous one cross stage the biggest one ever i own i review so we're gonna have a fun also i have in here one diamond painting which kind of interesting um different kind of box i like all those diamonds on it but i will have this in different video for today for my arm it's going to be uh, probably more than enough uh, to do this one because i have some questions so i want to see and uh, next time we will have uh, i can show you we have one joy sunday beautiful design and this one is the silk uh, uh, stitching threads like or silky i would say not uh, 100% silk but silky so this is also super super um, beautiful product but I will do for you this in next video okay uh, for today now uh, if you like to order anything from new craft day I do have discount they provide me with discount uh, code 10% which is lovecraft 10 so if you by checkout enter this code you will have 10% discount and that's always good to save some money so let's check it out now i watch only one video unboxing of this design uh, and i did have some questions some disagreements in my mind and i wanted to see for myself if uh, this canvas is amazing as they say okay and I have to say that no offense to anybody who did review and maybe, you know, everything went uh, very well for you and you like it. But I want to do this for my satisfaction uh, because I had some questions when I watched the review and I think I need to know this with my own eyes um, to be sure and if you like to order because this is the most expensive uh, canvas if you will order so you want to know what you get so first we have a sticker and on this sticker we can see picture which is a booklet it's the same picture but um, it looks like all the same just a little bit more compact maybe a little bit like squished picture so um it will be easy probably to see on this one but let's check it out because in here kind of looks like a brighter colors on this booklet so it will be seen better a uh, lot of deep brown colors up there on the building there's lots of things going on um the only thing i wish it would be like a more shading somewhere on the top but i guess we have to stitch this all in one color I don't think it's going to be partial uh, I don't remember no I don't think it's a partial I think you have to stitch all the sky maybe that's why the canvas is so dark but you know what else I think if canvas are so dark maybe you can leave it as it is without stitching the top so what we have up there some people and by the building lots of bridges there's lots of things going on up there looks like some kind of is a market it's hard for me to see upside down as well but from far you have like a town or village um asian landscape and it is look very interesting i love this yellow brownish orangey colors so we will have lots of yellow colors in here this design is in 11 count i believe and we have size which is size is super impressive uh, 360 centimeters by 74 centimeters so 
it's almost like four meters long so our european town that we stitch in uh, i'm stitching in 11 count and i believe it's two meters 20 centimeters so this is double <laughs> this is double and a little bit even more so that's impressive uh, about the colors so the booklet have how many 30 no not that 34 i'm looking upside down 54 pages of this design and colors impressive 64 66 sorry i'm looking at 66 and i'm saying 64 why um 66 colors it's a lot of colors for such um kind of like yes what i wanted to say uh for um, monochromatic kind of design that's a lots of colors that should be fun to see so let's open and see first of all what's really surprised me it's the color of the canvas i did not expect that this to be such a dark i never stitched before on a, this kind of dark dark canvas so this is will be interesting um how many years stitching would be of this that's never know um i'm just impressed to see how many threads this will be here because it is lots of lots of threads oh look at this gorgeous gorgeous bag of threads so what should we see first the canvas or the threads uh i don't know i don't know yeah so this is definitely very dark canvas the good thing is um well this is the edge of the canvas so it's not gonna fray and in here i see already that it is stitched with the white threads all the way around the symbol wise that's what was for me a little bit questionable questionable because i thought the symbol uh, not very good clarity especially on this kind of canvas um okay oh, okay 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 we have in here two needles pin on a corner i don't know if any other needles in here let me just check very quickly canvas on each side definitely it's a big big canvas to see to me print is really dark and that's what would concern me on a white uh, canvas we would see better uh, different shading of the symbols in here because it's a dark brown color lots of colors in here i think it's going to be hard to see to stitch till maybe your eyes get used to, it to a certain symbol um definitely not easy not easy canvas to stitch it's very dark so if this is yes i can see that if i can turn this way around just a minute you're going to see right now upside down so this is the sky part and yes we will have to stitch this part which is easy it's all basically the same symbol right but uh 59 i would love to see which color this will be stitched with so let me grab the palette 59 okay this yellow this yellow color so i would say yeah will be better probably blend in on a dark brown so it's kind of like when fabric will seep under your stitches it will blend in better with this one but i don't know with the white probably would be as good as well plus um plus i think it would be much better to see the symbols so you know what let's see threads first okay and then we will continue with the canvas I might will even roll canvas a little bit because it is huge, huge canvas. For me right now, <laughs> to do this with basically one and a half arm, that's not very easy. But I really, really wanted to see this design to review. And some of you ask me to review this design to see my opinion. And I'm kind of mixed opinion right now. But 
impressive by the size and of course the threads in here is beautiful here is some shades which uh, kind of highlights I think I need to show okay from this from here if you can see that's the natural colors that you watching right now because if I go more close the lights a little bit change a color from being on uh, exposed close to the chandelier plus camera I think lighten up them a little bit so that's a beautiful lavender two colors up there darker and lighter um, lots of these colors will be probably repeat so this is um, this is not the first palette this one is from 37 to 66 I should grab the first one first but that's okay okay so in here from 1 to 18 here is the colors we have I already stopped once this video as much as I wanted to be flawless. Sorry, I had to stop a little bit video. <laughs> okay, so yes, here it is. Um, all those green colors, of course, and here we have just a little bit of them, but there is lots of extra in that, in that bag. This one has only one color, but I see that, yeah, on the bag we have the full thing. I don't know, or this one or this one, because they both kind of, so we will open this bag to see what's on, what's on the inside. But the palette of these colors in here is very soothing colors. I call them earthy colors, okay? It's a green swell. This is kind of like a nice and bright part. And this part of the colors will go, you see, like some clothes on people, some of those lights and building like a lights up there on the top. So it is uh, have some splashes of the colors with the wooden part. This one, something very beautiful, whatever is going on up there. I will have to, there's lots of people up there. I will have to literally sit and look this picture under magnifier light of mine that I broke before vacation for the second time. I did glue my uh, magnifier light that I stitched with for the second time already because I couldn't get close I and I wanted to stitch a little bit. So I tried to force it with one hand and it didn't work well for me. So now I have to fix it again at some point, but design, it is beautiful. So yeah, lots of this yellow stitching. Like I say, I wish it would be like a, just a little bit more shading up there on the top, like we have in here on the ground. That would be so much better, I think. So yeah, everything is yellow, even we know that this is water because it's some kind of like a boat. Um, go on it so yeah that's kind of very interesting that sky and the water everything is in a monochrome design everything is white not white yellow kind of brownish color so let's see I just want to fill the threads because it is lots of extras uh, I saw some people well I saw only one unboxing and I know that they did not have this kind of braids. They had everything packed into the palettes like this. So I'm kind of surprised to see that my canvas came a little bit different. But this is the huge, huge braids because as you can see by the sizes, they kind of like a different. Some smaller, some bigger, some a little bit like a medium size. So I don't know how they count them. But here is the five of huge, I think this is different already, or yeah, this is a little bit different shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous yellow, number 59. Then we have some dark green, on camera looks like gray, but this is green color. Uh, there's two of this I don't know 18 or no no that's not gonna be 18 this is 17 this is 18 very kind of oh if they together 
I see the difference in the color. Well, for you on the camera, I can't really see it. It's, it's very close shade, but this one is tiny, tiny darker than this one. And here is more lots of shades. So, yeah, my came in this braid, not in a palette, so I will have to put them on a palette myself. That's okay. I have lots of extra of this one paper so if i want to or i just going to add little by little as i go look how beautiful this one is also different shading so i'm just going to show you a little bit mix of the colors but together kind of okay Sorry, I have to try to do this with one hand. My my right hand still cannot go very high. I can only bend from my elbow towards my body, but it doesn't go way far yet. So it's a little bit tricky for me still to do videos. And it's really hurting me not to craft. I tell you that I'm missing my stitching so badly but it's hard to stitch yet. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. That's a lots and lots of threads. Let me put this aside in here somewhere. I'm slow like a turtle. Okay. On the top of the, I think I'm getting a little bit of the allergy. Just a minute. So threads, of course, gorgeous. And yes, this design is by Mona Lisa, as we know already, which I like to call classical design because it says here classical cross stitch. So um, I don't know, but it says in the Mona Lisa um, the, um, section of the brand. So threads beautiful. No, nothing bad I can say about that. The only thing I don't know how they count those threads. Will be that enough for us to stitch all this humongous design? Like it's hard to tell right now, right? But I'm sure they try to count and usually Mona Lisa designs have lots of extra uh, threads. Uh, the most budget, I would say, it's Joy Sunday because Joy Sunday puts you threads just enough to finish. Um, Mona Lisa, usually um, you will have lots of, um, I think you will have lots of uh, leftovers. Well, I hope so. So now, you know what I will do, I think. Maybe I should just like a roller. I have no idea. Oh, no, I I flipped not the right. Hold on. I was doing the right first time. No, this is this is the canvas. So to show you a little bit what I concern here about, it's the color wise and the symbols because the symbol are so kind of like it's so blend in because not only dark canvas itself, but also lots of canvas and uh, lots of symbols printed in the same color i would say or, may, or maybe it's just a look like because of the color on actual canvas but let me see how much i can show you if we can go very close to the camera you will see some of the symbols in here very kind of blend in with another one and I wish it would be more colorful um, print let's say like Joy Sunday or even regular Mona Lisa they they print very nice and bright this one is not impressive for example in here see those uh, this patch right in here this square uh, I'm not sure how many symbols in here is it like a three or the 
yeah similarity a lot so I would say that I don't like printing here and I'm being honest very difficult to see symbols so if you are up for the challenge of course this will be nice but to stitch this design you need to stitch with the very very good light maybe even if you were in the glasses with the glasses with the magnifier light if you wish um, the design is huge 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 very huge um, I think uh, what I will do let me roll it so it will be easy for me to show you um, I will roll it and then come back to you so I rolled this canvas but I'm still thinking how I will show you kind of doesn't fit this way in the camera if I put this way it kind of you can see the whole link in here which is 70 74 centimeters in here and I you know what I'm wondering about if this is 74 centimeters the whole canvas link or actually printed area let me grab a ruler very quickly and I will tell you exactly what this is because it kind of I wanted to know this for myself we're just going to measure just the one side okay um, I have right now this metallic ruler this is centimeter so it's good so we need to have uh, if this is the whole canvas or not but also in here you see this line in here that's already like an extra canvas because the cut's supposed to be here so it could be even longer so let's just check it out uh, not just that, okay you know what let me check first actual design size of the print so this is from 0 to 50 right in here we have 50 here is 60 and 63 okay so design itself is 63 centimeters fabric all along this piece here is 50 60 70 73 it's not 74 okay so one centimeter not correct 73 the whole canvas so yes uh, they stole from us one centimeter so I don't know the other side probably shorter as well a little bit but now let me just like re-roll it and show you what else I want to show you when the picture um, of the symbols in here printed on the bottom you will see later there is so many like uh, looks very very similar so I would say your best friend for this canvas this book 100% you will go here very often to see these pages that's just to make sure you do doing correct uh, symbol uh, squares in here kind of like a medium size not very big because it is lots of pages but you will definitely go here and just recheck make sure you're doing it correct because lots of symbols looks like the same so if I will be unrolling this way and roll the other back so we don't drop it on the floor I don't even know if I want to keep this canvas roll all the time to keep it kind of like straight mm, there's probably not much you can see this way anyway I don't know I don't know what's the better way um, how about you will see this correct way because later on the top in here it's all kind of like a sky so it's it's kind of like a empty part would be for you to see okay so it's just like in here tree and building then later lots of sky in here so maybe okay if we're going to look this way and just kind of like unroll and unroll and unroll and yes from far away it does look blend in everything kind of greenish so my wish would be I wish it would be the more colorful print or printed on a white like a lighter canvas maybe uh, but since this is uh, all brown kind of monochromatic 
canvas do we still want to make the sky lighter or just to wash it out and you will have like a sky in this color uh, it's up to you but uh, it is lots and lots of stitching lots of stitching and I'm just going to fold this back not sure how I'm going to store this into folded area or like this no maybe it's a folded because right now I cannot stitch so kind of you know you want to stitch oh my goodness it is still going and going so yeah this is amazing now if I can show you a little bit of this part oh kind of hard for me to do this with this arm even like my hand a little bit cramping up um in here i'm going to for this one okay i'm gonna put my chair to catch my canvas here so it doesn't go on the floor and i want to zoom close to this part just to show you okay we're going to move camera oh, which way canvas this way um if we look on the symbols there's so many of them kind of like a similar like a dark one uh, everything looks kind of like a stripey the way the way they um i don't know it's going to be difficult look at this okay sorry my puppy just ran away i'm trying to keep this as quiet as possible go lay down little one um yeah lots of kind of looks like a stripey but they are not exactly always stripey but with the stripes for example this one stripe it is green color in here darker color uh, okay this one not good example maybe because they do point in a different in a different direction um <laughs> let's see Let, let's just check it out what we have in here uh, lots of kind of like this one almost like a y maybe this one half triangle x um check mark this one is very very light color whatever that is i don't even know looks like maybe crisscross like plus maybe but at the same time in here looks like a plus as well but just a darker color uh this one i think it's a number two which is so dark that's hard to see so if you can look on those symbols right they they okay right here they look not very impressed to me hard to recognize them and because this one looks kind of stripey this looks stripey too when you look at it from far when you look a little bit more close it's a little tiny bit of different color but it still is like a stripe or maybe it's something else i can't even see it this one looks very similar to this one so yeah symbol wise very bad canvas i have to say that <laughs> okay canvas itself beautiful it's it's stiff fabric very stiff fabric um very interesting color for the design but i think for this kind of design it is matching nicely canvas base because it is going to look good we're not going to see uh, pouring out the white canvas if we would stitch on white a down so for that part like i agree about this color but i disagree the symbols on it it's going to be such a hard time uh, for you to see so that's why i wanted to review this one because i was really concerned about the symbol wise it's not going to be easy to stitch so i want to warn you this is a challenging canvas uh, you will have to have a good eyes for it or big helpers like you know uh, magnifier light stitching by the window maybe stitching outside in the summertime a uh, frame uh, you need a big frame for this one maybe like a handmade i know debbie was challenging herself she was making a handmade uh frame i don't know if she finished or not hopefully she will share with us on facebook group which is welcome to join my facebook group maybe she will share her um, the finished product how she created so if you get this uh, big canvas you can use it definitely i would stitch this canvas sideways uh let me zoom out again because it would be hard to or kind of like you know when i do my uh, european town i roll from this side canvas right 
and I roll from that side canvas but my frame fit nicely uh, European town because it's a much shorter design this one is much longer so if you have a uh, canvas good enough to put this into the frame which have a good excess of print in here like I mean the fabric in here and on the top to put this into the frame comfortably but then if you stitch this way to you right so like for example if you would flip this canvas oh just a minute just a minute I'm trying to do fast okay if you decide to stitch this way i'm going to put on the camera okay if you decided to go this way to stitch from you like up sideways uh, i would say it will be more uh, comfortable you still can roll this side uh, pin it with the clamps or clips and the other side roll as well but this at least will fit nicely on a table so roll canvas in front of you, roll canvas laying on your lap, whatever you like it uh, or you create some kind of like a hammock to hold your canvas on the bottom but this way will be definitely more comfortable to stitch in my opinion that's how I started my very first canvas of cottage that I'm really looking forward to stitch one day as well uh, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting better but this last two days I was in lots of pain in my shoulder so I didn't do any crafts and that's why a little bit later with this video uh, but um, yeah definitely challenging this is the most challenging canvas I ever review I think uh, even brand um, the other brand there is um, romantic story I think um, was a little bit challenging to see the symbols but even that canvas i would say a little bit easier probably than this one so you just have to really pick one symbol get your eyes to know the symbol to recognize quickly and then just stitch 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 few threads um, till you get tired of the color and go back to the other one so i would say it is beautiful picture very unique and if you find that this design is difficult for you to stitch because of this dark color there is another design that is in spring brand and i don't know what kind of color of the fabric up there because i did not review on my channel and i don't remember seeing unboxing kind of similar building but it's very short picture and spring brand usually print are the best it's a, this kind of similar as well tones and the colors if you go to the spring brand um new craft they also have the canvas and if you don't want to challenge yourself with big one you go for alternative and stitch the other one and we all know that spring brand are the best on print very clear canvas so maybe you will like the other one better and it is similar design in this kind of tone so that's just a something option for you if you think this one is too much but again i don't remember what kind of color canvas on the other one but by thinking of the spring brand i think it's still going to be so much easier to stitch if you want me to review the other canvas please comment and i will be ordering to review because i am interested to see now after seeing this canvas it would be good comparison video i think as well so let me know what you think about this review i'm pretty much um, my honest opinion what i think like canvas itself um beautiful fabric for this design amazing threads lots of a uh, um, nice monochromatic design but uh, it is dark dark symbol to stitch with the print i'm not impressed it looks like a clear print there's no smudges it's just the unfortunate color choice on the symbols that that's all but it is nice nicely stitch around like the edges nicely treated so um yeah it would be fun never stitch on this kind of dark canvas yet i did stitch on a black canvas but not on this one so it will be different once again 360 centimeters by 74 centimeters which 
we just measure it's uh, 73 not 74 my ruler don't lie so yes company you lie to us on one centimeter this way so i'm not sure how much this will be uh i might even take a time measure if i will remember and later if somebody interested i can tell you in the comments but you know what but the design of course it's going to be all the same on the canvas so it's just like how much extra fabric you will get like on the edges which is not very really important all right my friends thank you so much for this uh, for staying with me it's hard to review this kind of big uh, design and a big canvas lots of years of work uh, i think my european town taking me like two years now or not uh, yeah with the injuries i really kind of slack off a little bit back uh, i was hoping to finish before summer but you know what never know yet i might who knows my arms getting better and better it's just uh, i have to exercise my arm to get more movements uh, and yes i i will go in two weeks for my x-ray again so i have to suck it up and wait till doctor see me that's how it works in canada you can just make appointment for tomorrow you have to wait line all right my friends thank you so much and thank you new craft day for this beautiful canvas sent to me to review uh only thing this time the package was sent to me with dhl company which charged me money so this is not free delivery to me and my aunt uh, kind of upset me that but that's okay uh we will live this is amazing huge the most humongous canvas i ever review and i'm really really looking forward to see your comments what you think and if i would choose to stitch this design tomorrow you know if everything would be good i start to stitch with the symbol that is less visible like worse symbol first single symbols first not the brightest one because brightest one you can see very well start to stitch with the symbol that you hard to see so when you can with still empty with no threads it will be easy to see those uh, symbols that it's hard to read and that's my best advice for you how to work on this canvas all right my friends i will see you sometime not promise everyday videos these days because i'm still hurting uh, but i will try my best